Hello everybody, today I am going to go foraging for wild asparagus and truth be told I've never found wild asparagus before. I used some resources and I looked it up on the internet, read about it. So that brings me out here to kind of central Washington. You can see I'm along a river and wild asparagus should be growing kind of in this region in uh, ditches and loose soil and areas that collect a lot of moisture. So that's why I'm going to kind of look along the riverbank here. So follow along. Let's go see if we can find some wild asparagus. And then at the end of the day, we're going to see if we can find some wild morel mushrooms as well. These kind of look like asparagus, but it's not. These are reeds, so kind of deceiving to the eye. And to help me look, I'm also gonna be looking for the like dead dry stalks of last year's asparagus that, you know, went to seed, went to flower to help me try to find the young shoots underneath. Like this, what's this plant? It's below. Is this one? I don't think so. But maybe. No, I don't think this is the right one. Nope. That's something else. I see some wispy looking dry stalks in here. So maybe that's the wild asparagus. Not the tumbleweed stalk. Look at all the spikes on that. Keep. Keep looking. This looks very asparagus-like at the stock. This has got to be one of the old ones. Look at the little notches here going up the stock, but look at it at the base. See that? Right there and right there. That looks like a giant old asparagus but where are the young shoots coming up now we're learning what to identify at least take a little bit of this with me so this is the plant that i thought was the wild asparagus but it's not a little different looking all right keep hunting i think i found another one oh look at this this is a good sign see this little round bit right here so asparagus when they here's more when asparagus goes to seed they make these red berries but they're actually toxic so you can't eat that part you just eat these shoots when they come up in the spring but this is definitely an old asparagus plant and look we'll go down the the stalk here and you can see, I mean, it's old and dry, but like that definitely has got those little scales like asparagus has. So here's another old asparagus plant, but I don't see any of the shoots coming up yet. What's this? Grass? Maybe we're too soon. So asparagus is perennial, which means it comes back every year. You don't have to replant it annually, which is an annual plant. So this is a perennial, comes back every year. Well, at least we're finding the plant, but no fresh shoots. Shoot. <laughs> Found another wild edible though. Look at this stinging nettle right here. Just found something a little unsettling. This is all young sprouting poison ivy. So there's a very strong chance I'm gonna get some poison ivy today. Okay, you guys, 
I was thinking we were too early, but was I wrong? Look at this wispy plant. And as we get closer, look at these asparagus. Man, we're already almost late on some of these stalks. Look at that. All the way from the ground up. Wow, there's a perfect one. Oh my goodness. I found what I'm looking for and I'm not even far away from a campground. Wow. This is a healthy plant. Look how many stalks there are. So excited. Okay, let's let's harvest a few spears. I'm not going to take too many from one plant, but now that we've really dialed our eyesight in, oh, I could see some more over there. Now that I know what I'm looking for, it's all about that like pattern recognition. Same with mushroom foraging. So, let's get out the knife, actually the mushroom knife. It's gonna be perfect here for asparagus. And we'll harvest a few spears from each plant, not too many, and we'll keep moving on and harvest some more from different plants throughout the area. Got our mushroom knife. Be perfect for asparagus. Look at that. Oh wow, check it out. <laughs> and a uh, little hazardous because there's some young poison ivy mixed in yikes got to be careful let's go around to the other side trying to pick the really young supple spears here yeah there's a good one right in there check it out right there that's a good one Beautiful. Three spears from this plant. And then I see some more over here. There's a whole bunch growing all over. Look at this. Big old stock right here. And right here too. Okay. Those are a little, a little too old for me to harvest. So let's put these, these spears here in the mushroom basket. Boom. Okay, exciting. Let's keep looking around. One more good one here from this patch before I move on. Yeah, look at that. All right, we're gonna leave this really robust patch here, but I see a couple more stalks straight across. And interesting because here, you can see there's not really any of the old wispy plant around. So I'll kind of have to be diligent in my looking, not just only looking for those like dead, those dead bits from last year's growth. This is fresh from this year, a brand new stock coming up circled around didn't see any more in this exact area so we'll kind of keep moving along and the roots of asparagus are pretty robust and go deep so they go dormant in the winter just focusing on slow growing their roots and then in the spring is when they're shooting up their shoots and gonna make their leaves and then in the fall their berries but don't eat the berries those are toxic I might spy another dead wispy last year's growth let's go get closer and check it out oh no don't see any new growth down there i spy something across this pond is a bush of really light wispy color and i wonder if that's asparagus we're gonna find out making our way over there Got to get through some of this thick stuff. It's just through there. Whew. Okay. I think I made it. But I don't see 
any fresh asparagus shoots yet. Hmm. Nothing. I've been venturing on and have yet to find any more young shoots. I feel like a couple of times I found the old stalks, if that's what they were, um, but no young shoots underneath. So I'm gonna keep working down and then later transition into morel foraging. Okay, on my way back, I found some more. Check it out. Here's a nice stalk and just behind it, look at this. Look at those little young ones coming up. And over here too. Look at this. And over here. And these ones are a little tall, but we can just break off one of these and eat it fresh. Mmm. Nice mild flavor, really good. Mmm, delicious. Really good. These are pretty young to pull up though. Like really small. Only three inches or something. So I think I'll let these ones grow. First time ever asparagus foraging was a huge success. Totally happy to find some. I know it wasn't a lot, but I just think it's one of those things since it comes back every year that as uh, time goes on, I'm gonna find more and more of them and kind of remember where they were so I can go back following years. So now I'm gonna see if my morel spot, that is a place where morels seem to come back every year, not in a burn, is popping morels yet. So let's take a look. They tend to like some of this disturbed soil area. So I haven't seen any yet, but I just got here. Oh. I see one. Boom. Oh, it's a nice one. Look at that. I was like, am I ever going to find any? And then bam. Look at that beautiful morale. Nice. Look around, see if there's any more. None directly around, but that's okay. Oh my God, I forgot my mushroom knife in the car. What? What a move. All right, we're just gonna pluck it out then. Wow. What a beauty. Let's put it with our asparagus. Oh my God, what an awesome pairing. Okay, let's look around. Oh, I see another one. Okay, slowly make our way over there. I don't want to step on any. Oh, two of them. Two of them. Oh, three. One. Two. Three. In a row. Beautiful. <laughs> wow, what a find. Okay, let's put it in the basket. That was a good find, like four right in this area. The first one and then three. Oh, I think I found a different mushroom. Part of it. Part of it broke off, but this is a gyrometra. And this is not a morel, even though it's kind of like ripply looking, but not a morel. And it is poisonous. Don't eat these. I spotted the tiniest ones. Look, right here. Adorable little guys. Here's one so tiny, I'll leave it. Smaller than my little pinky nail. 
little trick is to go back the opposite way you came to see if you see any more that you didn't see when you were going the opposite direction. Another really teeny one. We'll leave it behind. But look at that. Right here. Here's one. Again, really small. And it looks a little crispy on the top. So, looks like they're just starting to get going and they need a little moisture. So thankfully it did rain yesterday. Season is just beginning. But let's go ahead and take a look at our haul. Nice, so here's our asparagus. Beautiful bunch of asparagus. And our very small handful of morels. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not even on purpose, but six and six. So just a small amount, a delightful little amount for a delicious meal, an accessory to a delicious meal to prepare later with some wonderful wild porridge food. Super happy, first time finding wild asparagus and this morel spot has provided me morels year after year. So it's just getting started. It is the very end of April, soon to be May and there's plenty more foraging to do. So I hope you guys join me for more content. Please, safety warning, always cook your morels. You cannot eat them raw, it will make you sick, very sick. People have died from eating raw morels, so cook your morels. And happy foraging. Join me every Wednesday for more videos, and click like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.